many people are currently battling or who have recovered from COVID-19 have told the world what it's been like. But a New Jersey photographer used his talent to show people from start to finish. I would news reporter Jan Carabello is live along the Camden waterfront with a look at his ongoing recovery. Good morning, Jan. Jim and Janelle, good morning. As you know, New Jersey has been especially hard hit by COVID-19. There are now just about 96,000 confirmed cases of the coronavirus in the Garden State with 5,000 and 63 deaths at this point. But as you mentioned, one man is now sharing his journey to recovery. He, ocu he actually documented his road to recovery and his week and a half stay in the hospital. Jeff Molstock endured some tough days after being wheeled into a hospital to fight COVID-19. And during his dark nights, he even wrote notes to his wife and two children. I wanted them to know I loved them. I was just kind of preparing a last will and testament, if you will. I just felt that uh, there was there was a couple of nights where I wasn't sure I'd, I'd make it through it. Shaking, uh, convulsing. High fever. The Ridgewood, New Jersey cameraman documented his journey starting on March 26th when he was taken to the hospital with a persistent cough and a fever. Rough night, convulsing all night, couldn't, couldn't breathe. He then recorded his trips to the x-ray room and was given the anti-malaria drug chloroquine on March 28th. I just took him first dose. During his treatment, Molstock's family recorded FaceTime checkups with his doctors who were protected from head to toe, and Molstock shot footage of the nurses who became his lifeline to the outside world. I'm going to attempt to walk to the bathroom. 16 days after first developing symptoms, Molstock was improving but still needed oxygen. He recalls starting to stabilize two days after taking the malaria drug, but doesn't know if that was what did the trick. I just honestly have to feel that I was lucky that my body that fought off the virus at a place where it needed to fight. I feel like I dodged the bullet on not uh, going on a ventilator. Finally, on April 5th, he was ready to go home. Mom, he's here. It's coming. It's coming down the street. I was so filled with emotion when the ambulance pulled up. I hadn't touched another human being other than a nurse in a hazmat suit. That was uh, one of the most beautiful things I've ever seen. Now, Jeff Molstock has been home for more than two weeks now, and he continues to get better each and every day, proving that although things may be tough, you can win this battle. Reporting in Camden, Jan Carabao, CBS3 Eyewitness News, into you. So nice to see those stories of recovery there, Jan. Thank you.